Hey, what's going on guys? Abdroidstone here from AndroidExtremist.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MIUI ROM on your Galaxy Note 2. Yes, that is correct. We are flashy MIUI, MIUI, whatever you want to say. That's the ROM with more than 1000 themes. This is the most theme ROMs available on your Android smartphone. So let's go ahead and get to this process. Now, in order to flash this, you need to have rooted uh, Galaxy Note 2 with custom recovery installed. So all the links to root your phone is in description. And uh, let's go ahead and get to this process. Now, if you don't know how to boot into Clockumar or TWRP recovery, you can go ahead and download this application called Quick Boot app from your Play Store. And from there, go ahead and press the recovery button. It will ask you for Super SU permission. You can do that from there. Or if you're lucky like me, and if you have custom ROM which enables you custom extended power menu you can go ahead and follow the pro process that I just did on the video so make sure you watch this video truly in order to get all the step-by-step -step correct steps to flash this ROM so I'm gonna wait until this phone boots up into TWRP recovery that is the recovery I am running on my Galaxy Note 2 for AT&T and depending on your version of the Note 2 the ROM might be more stable or you might get more trouble because I'm flashing one for the Note 2. Now we are going to go ahead and back up everything. So go ahead and slide through and back everything up. Once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe. So just wipe with swipe away. And once this finished swiping, we are going to go back, hit home button, go to install. And right here, go to navigate to your internal external SD card from right there and I'm gonna press external and now get to the folder where you have MIUI 4.2 and I'm just gonna flash it just like that you need to download the Google application as well so make sure you do that from the link description where you are also gonna find step-by-step -step guide on how to do this process now if you guys want me to include these pictures like what I'm doing every step by step pictures I would do that if you guys wanted me to but I do make videos so I don't think that is really in need but if you want leave a comment below and I will start including the pictures now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna choose the gaps it's not here so go back to install storage internal press ok go to download nothing here and I know there's it's been somewhere just don't know where <laughs> so be patient until I find my Google application external download and right there Google application so the date might be different for your Google application depending on what I find the latest and you might get that link but I don't download new Google application every time I f flash new ROM because I'm just lazy and reboot system so as you see right there I wasn't talking about what I was doing on the phone I was just telling you the story of my life when I flash a ROM but uh, if you keep getting error or if you get a boot loop make sure you go ahead and f get a USB kernel for your phone and uh, flash it on top of this ROM. Now that's the MIUI boot animation right there. And we are going to wait until this phone boots up. This used to be one of my favorite ROM. It used to be on top of the list for my Android ROMs, source ROMs. But uh, AOKP came out and just didn't see need of MIUI and uh, it was lacking support for devices so kind of gave up and now I saw this MIUI thread on the Galaxy Note 2 and I decided to make this video so you guys are in chance and we both gonna explore the MIUI ROM together so this is how to videos the review will be up as soon as it gets edited and I'm gonna edit both of them together so feel free to go check out my channel where you're also going to find review of MIUI ROM. Now, if you're going from a stack ROM to source ROM, it will take quite a while for the phone to boot up. 
and uh, when you're flashing new and different software it does need time to settle down so the system needs time to settle down let me be correct and uh, also I'm still waiting and that's why I'm keep giving you all this information I don't know if it's relevant or not but I gotta talk something so rather than talking about features and renaming renaming the full review of this ROM I'm just gonna talk that about that and right there the phone boot up and as always guys thank you for watching feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the review of this ROM